What's up, what's up, what's up? You already know. This is Peach. All right, y'all. I just went to the meat store and got the chicken. I got five pounds of small chicken wings. They're supposed to be small. Everybody running out of chicken wings these days. So it's kind of hard to get some chicken. But what we're going to do is we're going to rinse these things off in the sink. All right, guys. So these are the chicken wings. Now, when it comes to chicken wings, I do like to go through and I like to clean them with a knife. I'm not going to be able to show that with y'all because everybody is so busy. And um, I don't have nobody to hold a camera. And I do this in the sink. I go through with a knife and I take off like the little yellow. And I also make sure I get all of the hair out of the chicken. So I'm going to do that and I'll show y'all the finished results. Alright guys, my chicken is clean to my liking. I just try to get like all the yellow stuff off. That's just me. Um, to season my chicken, what we're going to be using is some black pepper. Some complete. Your meal ain't complete. Come on. If you don't use complete, that's right. Some complete. Now no, I got to have that. Some seasoned salt. Some hot sauce. Two packets of Zazon. Zazon. And some mustard. That's it. That's all we're going to be using on this fried chicken. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is add some pepper. Some black pepper. I'm going to open up the big part. Open up the big part today. Not too much pepper. It's our black pepper. Next, we're going to put our complete. I feel like I should have did this in my sink just because it's five pounds. This looked like a lot, but it's not, y'all. I promise you it's not a knife. Next, our Lari season salt. Mommy. Yes, buddy. Yeah. Hold on, buddy. Mommy. Wait a moment. Mm. Uh, I don't know what magic thing you talking about. Go tell daddy to help you. Uh. Then we're gonna add us some mustard. I do not use the measuring cup. I do it to the, 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 do it to the do it to the ancestors to tell me to stop. I do it to the I, I do it to the I, I do it to the ancestors to tell me to stop. Next we're gonna put our Zaz on. Says home. They say I say it wrong, but it's cool though. We gonna say it how Peach said. <laughs> when they tell you say it wrong, say we saying it how Peach said. My kids got drama today. Just put your two packs in. Then we're gonna use our crystal hustle. Put some hot sauce on my chicken, baby. Ooh, it's so good to me. Don't worry about it. Like, some people are like, oh, you put all that hot sauce, it's going to be spicy. No, it's not going to be spicy. It's going to just taste good. <laughs> it's not going to burn some. The kids going to love it. It's not buffalo chicken. And then after that, you just mix it up. Like so. Like so. Give me a moment, please. Why do y'all insist on bothering me? Your daddy right there. Go bother your daddy. Go tell daddy. You know, see, it's like a little marinade. Why do I season my chicken like this? Because don't everybody season their chicken like this? My great aunt, my great grandma, like everybody do this. I really got this from my great aunt. When I was little, she made the best fried chicken in the family. And this is how. This is how they did it. This is how it go. I'm just mixing it still. Just because I want it to be like... Fully covered, you know, to my liking. And then that's that. Now we're gonna do our flour. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and add our canola oil to our grease. Let this get hot while we start breading our chicken. I have a gas stove if you're wondering what's the noise. This is the canola oil I use. This is great value canola oil. I just prefer canola oil. You can use vegetable oil if you like. Peanut oil, whatever kind of oil you like. Do you, baby? That's your house. But I use canola oil. Now, you want to make sure you pour a lot because we are going to deep fry these chicken wings. Yes, I have a deep fryer. I just like to use a regular pan because it takes less grease. You want to put um, enough grease in your pan to fully submerge a chicken wing. So, if it looks like a lot of grease, it's because I want my chicken wings fully submerged. I ain't going to have to stand here and flip them, etc. That's why. After that, let's go ahead while that's warming up and start doing our flour. So I'm going to be seasoning my chicken in a Ziploc bag. This is something I recently started doing after my subscribers suggested it. It's something that I actually enjoy. I don't recommend doing your pork chops in this kind of bag because it don't be enough. Um, 
Like the bag's not strong enough. At least these bags aren't strong enough. This is my flower. I use Pillsbury all-purpose flour for those of you who want to know. All-purpose flour, not self-whiting. I use the Pillsbury all-purpose flour. That's what your girl uses. So this is our flour. We're going to go ahead and start seasoning our flour. Seasoning your flour, what you season your chicken with, except the mustard and the hot sauce. If you don't do that, then your chicken ain't going to have as much flavor. So the first thing I'm going to do is put one, um, one zazz on in here. And I'm sure I don't need this much flour, but that's how much flour I'm going to use. I don't use no measure cup. Black pepper. I just do what I feel. You season to the ancestors stop. You know, you're here, you just gotta get in tune. Now some of y'all ancestors couldn't cook, so you wanna pay attention to what I'm doing, but I hear a little voice in my mind, it just say, that's enough. That's what it say, every time, each and every time, it just tell me. I just feel it and it comes out right. Just pour, 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 that's enough. You hear that sound in your mind? And you know that's enough, that's what it's looking like. What you want to do is close that bag right on up like so. Close it on up. Dip it on up. Make sure it's zipping. Give it a shake. Give it a shimmy, shimmy. Shake, 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 shake it, shake it, shake it. You want to shake that thing on up. Now you got your flower looking like so. It don't even look seasoned. See? Follow it like that's too much seasoning. No, it's not. After that, we're just going to drop. I think I'm going to do five wings at a time. So that's three. That's four. Follow me. From here, you follow on the chicken from here to here. Five, boom. I have my 12 year old assistant with recording me today. So I'm always trying to teach him how to give me the vision that I want. He kind of upset because he want to play Fortnite. What you was doing? Watching TV. He is kind of upset. Shake it on, baby. I was building something. You was building something on Fortnite? What were you building, buddy? What were you building? I'm building something too. I'm building us a future. Oh, God gave me that word. I'm building us a future. I'm building us a legacy. I'm trying to buy us a house. What you doing right now? You helping your mama buy a house. You understand? Then when we get our house and stuff, you could, you know, do your Fortnite thing all the time, more often. I might be able to hire somebody to record for me. Oh, I could pay you. I could pay you. Okay, then you have more Viva. That's how it works. All right, so the chicken is nicely breaded, fully covered. You know, I'm sharing. We're just gonna leave that in the, until my grease get hot. This is really hot. We're gonna drop our chicken wings. I don't know if daddy might want to back up so he don't get burnt. Make sure you shake your stuff off before you dip it in grease. That way your grease won't get dirty real fast. Oh, you can already smell the aroma, baby. It smells so good. And never fill your grease all the way up because when you adding um, meat to it, it's gonna rise. You see how my grease is starting to rise? I'm putting five chicken wings in here. And when you first start frying food, it's gonna be fast bubbles. And this is deep frying. It's gonna be fast bubbles like that. After they're done, you'll see the bubbles start to quiet down and not be as busy. Just gonna let that do what it do. This chicken gonna cook so fast. So that grease so hot, I let the grease get too hot. This chicken is now done. You can see the chicken starting to float and the bubbles aren't as rapid. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take you a plate, paper towel, and then a metal drainer. And you're gonna start taking your chicken out. You wanna put the paper towel underneath, that way your chicken can stay crispy. It's chicken number one. And I don't like how that side look, the back side, but look at the front side. <laughs> it's a good time. I like my chicken real crispy and breaded really hard. Yes, Booba, get out. That's chicken number three. Hmm? Chicken number three. That bad boy, right though. Piece number four. We're gonna be dropping five chickens at a time, y'all. I love how that one's worded. That one got my name on it. 
I always make myself the prettiest plate because I mean I am doing the hardest work. Baby, you can't come in here right now, buddy. And then that's piece number five. Now we're gonna go ahead and drop the other chickens in here right away. Baby crying because he wants me to pick him up. I can't pick you up right now, boo bug. You don't have to wait for your grease to get hot. You want to drop your chickens right away. The grease is hot. Show y'all. That grease ain't... You got to wait. Somebody said that. You got to wait for your grease to get back hot. No, you don't. Make sure you're shaking off that excess flour because you don't want to have um, your grease full of flour. And I'm just making sure my chicken fully breaded because doing it in the bag... You just like hoping that it's fully breaded to your liking, but I like my chicken. Like how some of them pieces came out last time, they went and braided all the way. I like it fully breaded. And make sure you shake it. Shake it before you put it in the grease. Yes, buddy. That was piece number four. Now we're gonna add piece number five. You wanna drink something? That's piece number five. For the little kids, I'm gonna do them something. That's cutting in half. What's going on? Ice. Ice for what? You want juice from Arizona? Daddy's stirring up the cabinet. You want what? I You want what? I You want juice? I Yeah, Arizona juice? Okay. Where is the Arizona? Alright guys, so those bubbles are starting to calm down. We know our chicken is done. See how they're starting to float as well? They're not staying down on their own no more. They're like floating up to the top. Oh, see that? That's how you know they're done. Chicken piece number two. Beautiful fried chicken. And this chicken is so good. I'm ready to eat it. Piece number three, which is really piece number eight. You want to have patience with this. If you have patience, see, I don't like how that one came out breaded. I don't like it when it's not fully breaded. Patience to um let it drain. It'll save you in the end, but if not, you know. Do you boy? This is our 10th piece of chicken. That's what it looks like over here. And our grease is not like dirty. Like, people always ask me, how do you keep your grease? Making sure you shake it and not leave excess flour. Oh, I got a hole in my bag. No, no, what Ryan's work? Yes. Matt, Matt, can you put on Ryan's girl for two? Typically, I already have my next batch ready to go, but we got a lot going on. We trying to record. The kids keep wanting stuff. This is how I actually prefer to bread my chicken. I start using the bags after, you know, so many people suggested, hey, you should bread it in the bag. But I like to do my chicken like this. Then I could, like, shake it off. I can see if I want more breading on it in certain spots. See? This is how I like to bread my chicken. To me, this is more convenient. And I like the way it feels on my fingers. We're just going to bread us five pieces this way. People like the bag is easier. It has um, less cleanup, which is true. But right now, that bag gives me problems. That's the same thing happened with my pork chops. I end up getting a hole. I end up getting a hole in the bag with the pork chops. Then you're going to have a mess. So, for me, the Tupperware is smart i'm trying to rush i was gonna do like the full sunday dinner as a video but i'm going to the studio today to record head i like it like head i like you like head i like you like head i like you like for like. like. your girl i'm going to record that today so y'all gonna be hearing that next week hopefully if everything works out well so instead of me doing a whole sunday dinner like I was going to do for y'all, daddy is going to finish cooking. And daddy not going to report himself cooking. I'm going to drop these last chickens. Put this loaf in the oven. This um, blueberry loaf. Daddy going to finish up the cabbage. 
the rice and the macaroni. Yes, my children's father know how to cook. So that's it. I dumped all five chicken in there. Those fried chickens are cooking. We actually gonna start cooking the bacon for the cabbage and all that jazz. So like I said, I think this is gonna be a how to make a fried chicken, fried chicken, fried chicken video. Do you even still want rice bags? All right, guys, we are on batch number three. So this is chicken piece number 11. Number 12. Get into it. Thirteen, that's a big piece of chicken. I won't eat a big wing like this. So I get this to my foil. He like big meat. I don't. Yeah. And that's that last piece right here. And this is what the chicken is looking like. And we still got about 20 more pieces of chicken to fry. Hold on, baby. I'm going to get you in a moment. Light, 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 light. Let's go. Light, light. Go light, 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 light. What's up, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up? We are in the studio, y'all, getting the behind-the-scenes footage for Hit a Like You Like, my new hit single. Yes, I am manifesting right now. I just told this man he's going to get a plaque. For recording me, cause we know that that's what's gonna hit. Go light, 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 light. What? The speakers? I don't know how I'm supposed to know. What the other speaker? Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Yeah, I hear it. So right now what we're doing is we're doing right ear, left ear kind of little trick. It's only going to be for a couple seconds and then after that you're never going to hear it again. But I just, I wanted to try that. It just popped into my brain like it got to be like that. This record is like, it's going to change my life. I know it is. When you have somebody who can, you can tell your vision to and then they see the vision and do it like so without you really understanding what they're doing. Because I don't know what he's doing but I know what I want. We is at Keeping It Real Productions. It's Keep It Real Productions. Keeping It Real Underground Productions. Yep. Ready? No. This is Peach. And today we gonna be joking. Head a lucky light. Head a lucky light. Head a lucky light. For your girl. You like my pictures. Head a lucky light. You like my videos. Head a lucky light. You ain't no hater. Head a lucky light. You getting paper. Head a lucky light. Go live. You know your girl funny, yeah, you know your girl That's dope right. If you really like me, why wouldn't you hit it, yo? L to the IK, E-Y, babe Hit a like you like and send that love my way L to the IK, E-Y, babe Hit a like you like and send that love my way Light, 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 light Let's go! Light, 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 light Follow! Like, like, hit a like, like, hit a like, like, hit a like, 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 like